in the bustling city of Metropolis, where the neon lights illuminated the streets and the pulse of life throbbed with every passing moment. There existed a shadowy underworld that few dared to acknowledge. It was a realm of darkness and deceit, where the veil between reality and nightmare grew thin, and where the innocent could easily become prey to forces beyond their comprehension. It was into this world that Sarah stepped one fateful night, her phone in hand as she hailed an Uber to take her home after a long day at work. The streets were empty, save for the occasional flicker of streetlights casting eerie shadows across the pavement, and a chill wind whispered through the air like the breath of some unseen spectre. As Sarah climbed into the backseat of the car, she couldn't shake the feeling of unease that settled in the pit of her stomach. The driver, a middle-aged man with a face as expressionless as a mask, greeted her with a nod before pulling away from the curb and disappearing into the night. At first, the journey was uneventful, the only sound the hum of the engine as they wound their way through the maze of streets. But as they ventured deeper into the heart of the city, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong. The streets grew darker, the buildings looming like silent sentinels against the night sky. And then, without warning, the car lurched to a stop, the engine sputtering and dying with a final gasp. Sarah's heart hammered in her chest as she looked around, her eyes wide with fear. The driver sat motionless in his seat, his eyes fixed on something in the darkness beyond. What's going on? she asked, her voice trembling with dread. But the driver said nothing, his silence hanging heavy in the air like a shroud. Suddenly, there was a sound, a low, guttural growl that seemed to come from all around them. Sarah's blood ran cold as she realized the truth, they were not alone. Outside the car, shadows moved in the darkness, their forms shifting and twisting like something out of a nightmare. And then, with a sickening lurch, they descended upon the car, their eyes burning with a hunger that sent chills down Sarah's spine. With a scream, she reached for the door, but it was too late, the creatures were upon them, their claws tearing through the metal with an unholy strength. And as Sarah's world dissolved into chaos and terror, she knew that she had stumbled into a nightmare from which there could be no escape. When the sun rose the next morning, the police found Sarah's abandoned Uber, its doors torn from their hinges and bloodstains splattered across the seats. But of Sarah and the driver, there was no sign, only the lingering sense of dread that hung heavy in the air, a reminder of the horrors that lurked in the darkness of the city.